Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ken from Happy Unboxings and Reviews, and today we're going to be unboxing the Graco Blossom 4-in-1 Seeding System. We actually purchased this back in March, and our little one wasn't ready to sit in yet, so it's been sitting around our house all this time, and she is finally ready to be sitting in a high chair. So we are very excited to be unboxing this, and we are very excited to share this video with you guys. I'm going to be unboxing this today, and I'm going to do my best to see what I can do to put this thing together to hopefully help some of you guys out. So let's see what we have inside and get started. All right, first, give you guys a view of what the box looks like. This was shipped by UPS. And it was delivered exactly as shown without any additional packaging. Alright, so let's open this thing up. As many of you know, this is a 4 in 1 system, so there will be several parts to this. Give you a view of what the inside looks like. Lots of stuff. So let's take these out and we'll set them off to the side and start assembling them. And what I'm going to do is actually take these out of the plastic bagging as I put it together. So, I just pulled something up. I don't know if you heard that clicking and locking sound. And this piece is actually pretty heavy, so... And it's pretty snug in there. So I think I have to put this on its side and then pull everything out. There we go, that is everything. So that was the easiest way to take it all out. Looks like the tray. This looks like the booster seat. Instruction manual. the main frame to the high chair. And some plastic pieces that we'll figure out what these fit to. Okay, so I have taken everything out of the box and I have to make this look like that. So let's get started with the assembly and see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is actually put the high chair together. What you're gonna need are the biggest pieces, which are the legs and the seat. And there's a bag with a mishmash of stuff, including the registration card. And within this bag, there are the wheels. And we're gonna want those wheels. So let's rip this bag open. Take these wheels, we won't need anything else in here for now. Take the wheels out of the bag. There are some screws in here as well. Now with these legs, they are wired together. So you're going to need some kind of scissors or some blades to cut them apart. Take the rear leg, 
and you're gonna pop these wheels right in. Just like that, okay, here's a click. Okay. Then we're supposed to take this other main piece, and this is the seat. We're gonna face the seat down. And we are supposed to clip this in, making sure that the wheels are facing down. And these should click right in. Both sides have clipped. And you also just want to make sure, along with here in the clip, that these red buttons are in fact gripping into the holes. I think we're good to go. Rolly! Okay, the next step is attaching the footrest. And the footrest looks like this. There are two zip ties that I'm gonna have to cut off. And with the zip ties cut off, it comes into two pieces. So, you're gonna take your seat, it facing down again and you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And you're going to take the screws that came with the wheels and we're going to first take the main piece and it hooks right in there, right down here and you'll hear a click. And once that is hooked into the seat base, we're going to take the other piece that came with it, the, the bottom piece, and we're just going to slide this right in, pop this together, I don't know if it's supposed to click, but I just heard a click, and we are going to take the three screws. screw this all together. Okay, so we put the main footrest piece together. We're going to stand this up. And the next step is to insert the actual footrest in there. And that is in this bag with the wheels and the screws. And that is this plastic piece right here. Alright, so you're going to take this piece, put it into one of the, any of the three heights provided, and you're going to put it with the hook facing upwards. Put it straight in, and you're going to want to push it down until you hear a pop. There you go, the foot rest. Alright, so next they're going to have us put together the infant seat, and you're going to need seat base, and this piece right here. So what you're going to do is take this back piece, take this red handle, hold it up, and just slide it right in here. Okay, so I actually have to take the plastic pieces and push them in a little bit, and then slide it down until I heard a pop. And what this red handle does is that it allows you to move the seat back forwards and backwards. Next up, put it on the seat pad. And depending on which design you purchased, your seat pad is probably going to look a little bit different than ours. Be sure to register your products just in case of any manufacturer recalls. They'll notify you. And 
and there are two pieces in here. So we need this piece right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take these stubs or these straps. And there are actually two holes in the bottom of the seat base and we're supposed to push these through. Okay, so once we have that in there, we're supposed to take the seat back and pull it over the back. Okay, so once you have that, you are going to just take this front piece down and this should you want to make sure you take this crotch, uh, the crotch strap, pull that through the hole. Take this front piece, pull it down. There are two small hooks on here, and you're going to want these hooks attached right in here. Okay, and once we have these bottom pieces pulled on there, just take these armrests and they should clip right in. Okay, so you put this on. I actually realized I made a big mistake. Make sure you take the seat base off. Makes it a lot easier. So now you actually have your straps coming right through, and this easily just hooks on just like that. All right, so this is the infant seat with the extra body pad. Now the next step in the instruction manual is to take this infant seat and attach it to the high chair. So you just take this and this should just click right in. Just like that. There you go. Nice and easy. These red buttons right here are what you hear clicking. And you want to make sure they are both fully engaged. To lift it out, you push the red buttons. And the seat base, same thing. Clicks right in. And now, it's a booster seat. Okay, so we have the seat put together, we have the high chair assembled, we have the tray. And this tray should just click right in to these holes right here. Click, awesome, nice and easy. And the last piece that came with our set is this. And this is the seat back for the booster seat. So here's your booster seat base. You take this, you can see there's two different depths here, depending on how big your child is. So we're gonna just put this and slide it right in. Make sure you hold up the red handle on the back. And there you go. That's a seat back for the booster seat. So there you go, everyone. That's the unboxing and assembly of the Graco Blossom 4-in-1 seating system. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button below to let me and others know that this video is helpful and subscribe to our channel for more unboxing videos of our various purchases. Thanks again for watching and take care everyone.